This is Mick Cusimano, your professor of surrealism. Welcome to Rooster Tales. And here he is, the star of the show. <laughs> Visit Historic Vienna. Goethe meet Beethoven. Beethoven, Goethe. Goethe Beethoven, meet Beethoven. Goethe. Goethe meet Beethoven. Now cut that out. Gitter. Greetings, Your Highness. Beethoven? Ludwig didn't bow. Ludwig didn't bow. Ludwig didn't bow. Ludwig, you're in trouble. Ludwig, why didn't you bow to the Archduke? He didn't bow to me. <laughs> Special come a long way. Look at this historical accuracy. Something's gone wrong. What's going on? Who's in the control booth? Get these clouds. 
clowns out of the special effects department. <laughs> Whales don't ride elevators. Whales don't go to Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Whales don't chew tobacco. Whales don't buy lottery tickets in Store 24. Whales don't vote Republican. Whales don't speak Vietnamese. Whales don't surf the internet for Scrod. Whales don't play tenor saxophone. Whales don't buy Chuck Berry tickets. Whales don't read the existential writings of Sartre and Camus. Whales don't take Prozac. Whales don't buy abstract art. Whales don't vacation in Vermont. Whales don't sing Bob Dylan songs at the Kerrville Folk Festival. Whales don't use automatic teller machines. Whales don't go to Star Trek conventions. Whales don't form a deep attachment to Leonard Nimoy. Whales don't kiss submarines. Whales just go splash! Sorry about that, you guys. It's gotta be that storm. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to die by candlelight. Darling, this happens in the woods all the time. That's what happens when you drag us out here into the sticks. Whose hands am I sitting on? What's crawling up my thigh? Oh, I admit it. You love it. You know me oh so well. <laughs> All right, you two. Well, once we finish this bottle of wine, we can just play spin the bottle. Yes, saved by the power. And I can't imagine having to kiss you again. Oh my god. Where did that dead body come from? What should we do? Call the police. Who's got a cell phone? Damn it. There's no reception. Are there any neighbors? The nearest one is five miles away. Why don't we bury it outside? Nobody will know. I'm not gonna touch it. I can't even look at it. Who is responsible for this? Obviously, it's someone in this room. Looks like Lance is the closest. That's ridiculous. I can't even hurt her fly. Oh, I need a. I'm gonna throw up. I'll come with you. Come on. Not so fast. Nobody leaves this room until we find out who did it. All I know is, it wasn't there before the power went out. My back was turned. I was over there getting the candle. Somebody did it under the cover of darkness. I didn't want to come here in the first place. I knew I should have stayed at home. I passed up an invitation to the opera tonight for this chaos. I need another glass of Bordeaux. What is this? That's my corkscrew. Thank you. Who could that be? We're out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, there's a man out there. And he has a gun! Oh, it's just a guy that lives up the street. 
Hi. Hi, how you doing? I'm okay, how are you? Hey, I'm Joe, your neighbor from down the street. Uh -huh. Hey, how you doing? Ed, I just uh, shot this deer, and uh, I'd like to borrow a knife to skin him. I'd be glad to give you some venison. You killed Bambi, you murderer. We don't kill defenseless animals. Sir, please leave. We cannot be a part of anything like that. We belong to Peter. It's a big 12 point oh. buck. Joe, this is a really bad time. Sorry, sorry. Do you think he saw it? Oh my god. He must have seen it. We should have buried it already. Well, I certainly don't want to trip over this carcass. I think I'm going to be sick. Can someone, anyone, get rid of that stinking corpse? Mr. Rooster, go digging in the Egyptian desert. can get our beatnik archaeologists. I'm digging, but not digging it. It's a mummy, daddy-o. Wow, dad, like, where's the bongos? The pharaoh Ramses of the Great also had a domestic life. Oh, great Ramses, Pharaoh of Upper and Lower Egypt, divine son of Amun-Ra, master of the chariot. Oh, most exalted and omnipotent conqueror of the Hittites, get your dirty socks off the couch! Roman emperors were portrayed as godlike conquerors in our history books. History. Romans honor their emperors with impressive statues. The image of Augustus Caesar is that of a noble, enlightened sovereign. Historians discovered, in fact, that Augustus was short, puny, balding, and only had three teeth in his head. Where the orgy? Here comes Disgustus! He's my name, Professor Surrealism. And tonight we're going to show you some movies called Rooster Tales. As you can guess, one of the main characters is a cartoon rooster. The story of Alexander the Great.
Ah, and the Oracle of Zeus Amun. Welcome, Alexander of Macedonia. Look into the eye of the gods. Alexander, you are the son of Zeus Amun. You are destined to conquer the world. If I could afford a real research assistant, I wouldn't hire a rooster. What do you want for chicken feed? A map of Egypt? You dig faster? Why don't you help? This tablet says here lies the body of Alexander from Macedonia. This is the biggest archaeological find since King Tut. I can sell this information for a bundle. How much do you pay me for a new school? It depends, you bet me. I'm an archaeological goddess. I found the stone tablet. Let me see that tablet. It says, here lies Alexander the Goatherd from Macedonia. He was noted for having a three-legged goat. I am ruined! Darn! You offend me, offendy! You darn rooster! What do you know? You finally picked up a shovel! Spread your Taurus wings, take a trip to the Valley of the Kings. Kick the sand from your feet. Spread your Taurus wings, take a trip to the Valley of the Kings. Her name was Nefert Terry. She was Ramsey's royal queen. She danced like a cobra, if you know what I mean. Walk through the tomb of Seti the First. The hot desert sand is giving you a thirst. Take to Tunkhamen's chariot out for a whirl with a long-haired French archaeologist girl. Scurry around the temple of Ramses III. The Colossus of Memnon utters not a word. Sekhmet the cat is a goddess made of stone. The feral Hatshepsut is calling on the phone. Kick the sand from your feet, spread your tourist wings, take a trip to the Valley of the King. Kick the sand from your feet, spread your tourist wings, take a trip to the Valley of the King. There's a jackal in the alley, a croc in the gutter. There's a cobra in your basket, a scarab in your butter. Your hotel's out of water, the Nile's running red. There's roaches in your kitchen, beetles in your bed. A swarm of locusts chases you through the sand. Don't you wish you were back home, listening to a band? Kick the sand from your feet, spread your tourist wings, take a trip to the Valley of the King. Kick 
the sand from your feet, spread your tourist wings, take a trip to the Valley of the King. The Royal Mummies in KV5. You search with a flashlight, one of them comes alive. He chases you with bandages and whacks you with a cane. Howls like a banshee, driving you insane. Too many movies on late night TV. Better settle down in a cafe and have a cup of tea. Her name was Nefert Terry. She was Ramsay's royal queen. She danced like a cobra, if you know what I mean. She's got real style. She's got real style. She's the lucky one. She is the mystical daughter of Vincent van Gogh. She is a sorceress. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She's not one to trifle with. She's the apple of his eye. She mystifies businessmen. She never reveals secrets. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She never used to be like that. She's trouble, that's for sure. She's the perfect hostess. She's breaking down the barriers. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She's the only beautiful woman in Denver. She listens to the sparrows. She's a bit temperamental. She falls for Mr. St misunderstood ones. She's, She's the, the only, only beautiful, beautiful woman, woman in Denver. In Denver. She's, She's the, the only, only beautiful, beautiful woman, woman in Denver. Denver. Mark Wood here with TTNHD Production Live Online.com. We are here with Mick Cusimano. Now, Mick, what brings you out here tonight to the uh, film festival here at the Boston Comedy Night? Well, I happen to have a movie in there called Save the Elephants, which is premiering tonight. Now, can you tell us a little bit about the film? It's a short movie based on a real life story about uh, elephants being shot in uh, Africa.
Make way for the queen. Shopping on Les Champs Elysees. Make way for the queen. Climbing the steps of Sacre Coeur. You're too late, Michel Duchamp, to see the queen recite a romantic scene from James Joyce Ulysses. Make a way for the queen when she buys a new hat by Plastic Rishi. Make way for the queen as she discusses her philosophy of life at the Gallery Atelier Z. You're too late, Leonardo da Vinci, to see the queen riding a camel in the Marrakesh. Make way for the queen as she walks by the windmills. You're too late, Pablo Picasso, to see the queen dancing to the gypsy band. Late, Salvador Dali, to catch the dripping clock of the queen as she just makes her 4 p.m. teaching assignment. Make way for the queen as the rushing metro train blows her hair in the wind. Make way for the queen as she looks down at the lights of the city. Don't spill the eggs. 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 Don't spill the eggs.